Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you why updates aren't always beneficial and give you three main settings in the newest version of CSP which are known to cause people graphical issues and it doesn't look good. As well with that, I'm also going to show you how to install pretty much any mod for Assetto Corsa the exact same way every single time for probably 95% of the mods out there. I do recommend always reading an install guide, but let's go ahead and get this done and show you guys what's wrong with this new update. So, under Local Reflections, SSLR, uh, Screen Space Local Reflections, under Extra Effects, we have a new reflection setting here called High Z and Simple New. Myself, because I have a 3080, I opted for the High Z, and I have tested this from 150 all the way to 200, which is supposed to be the best quality. And what you notice with these reflections, if you read what it says here, the high Z setup can get reflections down to a single pixel. This might be okay for highly detailed modded cars and original Kunos cars. However, when you are playing in modded servers with the traffic mods that we all use, these cars do not have an extreme amount of detail and specifically really low detail things like the NPR truck or the FedEx truck will flicker in reflections off of the hood whereas if you use any of the old reflection settings here that issue will no longer be there it is fixed i do not know if it does this with highly detailed non-modded cars or not but i do know if you're having flickering effects with your reflections off the car and off of the wet ground showing flickering on modded vehicles this will fix that the next thing that has been an issue in this update for people has been shadowed wheels. You can see I have this deactivated completely. If you are experiencing your cars flickering, your road not lit up, cars going from their color to black and back to their color, if you disable this, that will fix that problem. It will go away completely. I promise you that it will work. Go and try it. It is something that you should do. Now there's one other setting in here. I believe it's under lighting effects. Let me just make sure. No, it is not there. So let's go to graphic adjustments. It's also not there. Let's go to track adjustments. And here it is. The larger glow for distant emissives in fog. This is a normally a totally fine setting. However, for some people that have been using light configs that I've put out, you may have asked me about that issue. It's been this to fix it. I have fixed it for a bunch of people. The issue being on that specifically is if anybody puts glow radiuses bigger in the actual light configurations in the maps, which I do, you will have a glowing issue where it will be like little blank circles, kind of like you're looking through a lens. If you have any sort of lights that bounce bad off of your signs and make things black, or it's like you're looking through a lens on the edges of the track, try to disable the larger glow for distant emissives in fog. And if you have to, try the taking off this one as well, although this uh, should not do anything. So those are three big settings that have made an impact in my recent gameplay and lots of other people's recent gameplay. I highly recommend that you try taking those settings off. And the other one I forgot to mention actually is this cars one here. If you are having cars that have neon lights, it looks like the light is neon underneath the car and beside the car. That's the actual light coming off of the car getting reflected back onto the ground and it comes from this new light bounce estimation for cars. If you take that off, the neon on every single car will go away, the color of the cars on the tracks will go away, and your cars won't be as solid color looking. They'll be a little 
a little more normal looking. I don't know how to describe it. But if you have the issue, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, and that's how you fix it. So the next thing that we'll get here done is how to install literally every single mod on a set of course of the same way. And I'm also going to show you how to install SOL, the new update, because I have that up and ready to go as well. So how can we install mods efficiently the same way every time? Well, what we'll do here is I'll start with a track mod, a drone cam mod, and the latest version of the preview lights patch. So what we need to do is we need to understand that all of these um, mods will all have folders that have the same name as a folder somewhere in our Aceto Corsa folder. So we'll go to Steam, we'll hit Manage, and we will browse local files. From here, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to hit Content, which will show my tracks. Now that I have my tracks open, all I need to do is drag this into the open area on the right, and it's going to install the track, and it's going to replace the files in the destination. It, you should obviously know that you need WinRAR to do this or 7-Zip. I prefer WinRAR. If you don't have it, just go and get it. It's a free download. It's the program that allows you to access all these files like this. So now we'll go to the drone cam. And we'll open up the drone cam and we will see content and we will see apps. I know in my Aceto Corsa folder, I am going to see content and I am going to see apps. So I'm going to highlight these two folders, drag them again into this open area, replace the files, and now that's installed. And again, I see extension and I see extension. So let's load up both of these, throw them into the blank area there, and I'm probably going to have to replace some files again. And that will now install the light patch. So what you'll notice is every mod follows the exact same routine here, almost every mod, and you're going to have folders that match your folders, and that's literally all you have to do. You can opt out and drag them and drop them into Content Manager. Yes, it's easier, it is less reliable. So now we'll go to SOL 2.2.5, this is the latest update. All you need to do is make an account on race department which by the way is free when you go to register you scroll down to the very very bottom after all the paid registries and you will find a free version that you can download then you come to this link here and you hit download and you will now have the sol 2.2.5.7 zip folder which we will open up just like everything else we've been doing all the way to the SOL stuff and we will see system, extension, content, and apps. Those are all folders that you will see here in my Aceto Corsa folder. So we're going to highlight everything, drag it all over, and then we're going to overwrite if we have to, and this will be installed. The one thing with SOL is there is some extra stuff that you have to do. So we're just going to close Content Manager and reopen it to make sure that it's installed. And then we will take the next steps that we need to take with SOL. And that is going to Aceto Corsa and going to Apps. And just checking all of this stuff to make sure that you have everything enabled for SOL there. And then we are going to go to Weather Effects. And we are going to make sure that we are on SOL 2.2 with the Weather Script as SOL. I use Peer. It is another paid Weather Script. It is a dollar, so I use Peer. They are both compatible with each other. And that is going to be the end of the video today. If you want to do anything else with uh, your SOL, you can customize everything in-game as far as weather goes, clouds, fog, a whole bunch of stuff, reflections, saturation, your sunlight, your sunlight color, your sky, your stars. You can change all of that in-game, and I do have other videos for that. So have a good day everybody, stay gaming, it's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up, and I believe that effectively being able to install content and things like that is very important information that everybody should know, it makes your life easier, it makes my life easier, it makes everybody who's playing together's lives easier, and the more people that have access to information to self-help themselves, the better. 
So this is some good information for you guys. I hope you have a good day, everybody. Stay gaming, and hopefully see you out there on these streets.